Until the day with the dawn ringing in my ears Oh, well, I turn to my TV show No better way, I gotta get myself into gear Let's go, oh, and I feel good Good morning, you beautiful song. Oh, look at this guy. Yes. Look at this guy, man. Oh, I feel like they've been keeping us apart when they've been sitting they all over the place. They put you through They're your paces. They're conspiring against us because they don't want us to have so much fun because they know what happens when they put us together. Oh, buddy, and we're going to embrace it day. today. Today is our day. <laughs> sorry you had to go through the torture device thing yesterday. It looked insane, boo. Your exercise oh, yeah. thing was that was crazy. It was cool. Oh, I'm still feeling a little bit tender from it, but I think I've been enlightened by that. It's man. been a while since I've seen you get the, the standard line, boys. Them quiet shakes. Leg shake. Like, and oh, it, wasn't in the right, it wasn't in the right place. It's supposed to be over here. <laughs> oh, we missed and I taught them the mere cut, and you weren't here after that. I saw crazy. that. <laughs> oh, man, but um, we digress. We've got a whole brand new day to embrace, and we're going to do it with you guys. And, of course, um, following on from a healthy Monday, yeah. it's going to be an officially a health Tuesday on your Feel Good Breakfast show this morning. So last week, we spoke about allergies and seasonal affective disorder. Hopefully, it enlightened you just a little bit. Well, today, we're going to take it further. We're going to speak about those yeah. long COVID effects, and that includes sinuses, bells going off, ding, 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 ding. I think many of you at home suffering from the change in seasons at the moment. I think so too. And it's something that I'm, I think a lot of us might not even be aware of, but this is the show that you want to be listening to. And we brought in a specialist, ENT specialist, Dr. Gary Krowkamp, who joins us to answer all our burning questions. So if you don't even know if you have long-term COVID or not, today's the day where you might be able to find out. So we're shedding answers on all your questions this morning and shedding light on so many situations. Speaking of one situation, your morning, it might be grumpy, but when you tuned on to this show this morning, it changed completely. All smiles, and another baby. person that's going to make a change and make it even better. Why are you so fire this morning? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, why did you guys feed this boys for breakfast? I don't know what you did, but we love the energy. Good morning, Osanzi. Good morning, boys. So beautiful to be able to connect with you on this Tuesday morning. My name is Jamie Lee Dombuk, reporting live for duty. That being said, it is Health Tuesdays. So we're having a conversation starter on our WhatsApp and on our social media platforms. Have you had COVID-19 and have you been affected by the long terms like sinusitis, asthma, have you been affected with your allergies? We want to hear from you and maybe how you overcame it. What was your experience like? Please do hit us up on that WhatsApp number 063-408-8863. We'd love to hear from you. And again, we have a panel here to unpack all of those things. So if you have any questions, again, you can use that WhatsApp line. That being said, it's time to crush the rest of the show. And Mr. Demona is standing by with his news headlines. Thank you so much, Jamie Lee Domburg. Of course, it's time to take off or well, kick off the rest of the morning and start off with the news headlines. And starting on national fronts, where almost 100 millimeters of rain has fallen in some areas of Cape Town since a cold front reached the province on Sunday night. Now, the city's disaster management is on high alert in anticipation of cold and wet conditions expected in the next few days. Now, the rain also helped to control a fire in the Halderberg area over the weekend, and several homes at Somerset West were also gutted. Now, how However, the continuous rain helped bring the fire under control. Now, more news in our weather report to come just a little bit later. But sticking to our national news front and heading over to Joburg, where the city of Johannesburg emergency services are carrying out a search and rescue operation for a six-year-old boy who is suspected to have fallen into a manhole in Soweto on Sunday. Now, emergency services spokesperson Robert Malaudzi said they received a call yesterday morning alerting them that a child had fallen into a manhole. Now, Temp Becca Mahadla, a relative of the boy, said they only found out what had happened to the boy yesterday morning. Now, she said the boy's siblings and friends had kept quiet about what had occurred. Now, this because of fear. Now, moving from our national headlines, we head over to international news. Now, the British government's first flight taking asylum seekers to Rwanda can go ahead today. Now, appeal court judges have said the following. Now, this supports a previous decision by the High Court that it was in the, and uh, quote, public interest for the government to carry out its policies. Now, under the scheme, some of, the, uh, in, some of those entering the UK legally will be flown to Rwanda to apply for asylum there. Now, eight people are expected to fly to the landlocked East African country this evening. And the government says the scheme will discourage dangerous journeys across the English Channel. Now, next up in our headlines, new research shows that Russia is still making huge sums of money selling oil and gas, despite increasing sanctions by several countries around the world. 
Now, Western governments have made concerted efforts over the past three and a half months not to depend on Russia's fossil fuels.